Hey everybody, welcome to assignment two, loops and beats and bars. So if you need to know the instructions, they're here. Just push the space bar to play them. So for this next assignment, you're going to do that on your own. And then notice that it says delete the audio. So just go ahead and delete that track. There's three little dots here. Click on them. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. You just want to get rid of the track. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Undo it. That's right. Anything you do, you can undo it. You can redo it up here too. There's the undo button and the redo button. If you mess up, undo is your friend. But I want to delete that track because we came here to get some beats. So find a beat you like. Uh, let's see. What about Black Rust 3? Boss. And you can drag the beat wherever you want it. Let's put it over here on the beat one and listen to it. Nice. So if you'll notice, when the beat plays through, it goes all the way to the end. I'll lower that a little bit so it's not so loud. By the way, there's your volume down here if you want to make stuff softer. When it gets to the end here, it just repeats back to the beginning because you got the cycle on. Now when it plays, it'll just keep going. You can turn the cycle on and off here or here. Mess around the cycle and move it around and see what it does. That's the best way to get to know it. Now, your the big part of this assignment is you've got to add cool stuff like a bass line. So find a bass line you like. How about EDM synth bass six? Cool. And drag that over. But the big thing is you don't want it to start at the beginning. You want it to start at a different part so that the drums and start and the bass comes in after now the bad part is the drums stop at some point so we got to make the drums longer by dragging out this loop if you want the bass to go longer too drag it out all right it's your call, but have at least three things going on that start and stop at different times. Try to make it sound fun. The way you know where they start and stop is by looking up here and using the ruler that measures out where they start and stop. Let's make it bigger. If you can't really see, you can use these plus and minus buttons to make things bigger and smaller. Now the numbers are the beats and bars. The numbers tell you what bar you're on or what measure and each bar is made up of one, two, three, four beats. That's why when you're playing, you can count that, count the numbers. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You usually want stuff to start on beat one, so just try to line it up with the uh, numbers. It'll usually snap to the those numbers for you, which is really nice. Anyway, get stuff to start and stop at a different time. Submit it back to me. Let me know if you have questions. If you like this video, great.